I know it can really be a daunting task to find the perfect school that you want to go to. And I am referring to international students. You know, you want to find the school that is not as expensive as others, you know, the good payment plan, deposit, and all of that. And I know that it can be nerve wracking and all of that. So, this is why I have compiled like a list of schools that I think that um, international students should actually explore in terms of um, deposit, school fees, payment plan, and you know, their location. Um, so, stay with me, guys. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. On this channel, you know how we do it. You know, we share good information for international students and you know, you know the vibe. Thank you so much for all the loves and the support on this channel. And um, today I have just, you know, I thought to myself, like, I understand that it can be very, very taxing to find the right school to go to. You understand? We know, especially for people that are on a budget. So this is why I thought to myself that, okay, let me make like a short list of schools that I think that you um, international students should actually, you know, should actually explore. And I've made this list based on school fees, discount giving um deposit paid and then payment plan right um and i also thought of location you know where they are relatively um cheap to live and all of that so basically i'm just going to be working through them like in order of importance which one i think like i'll go from the cheapest school fees to what i think is like you know most expensive for this list right so the number one in my list is going to be university of Bolton. and if you wonder where Bolton is Bolton is in somewhere in great it's close to greater manchester right it's you know it's very close to manchester people that i know that um schools in Bolton, majority of them they work in manchester so it must be somewhere very close right so how much is the school fees for university of Bolton? and university of Bolton is going to be um the school fees is twelve thousand. 450 pounds right 12,450 pounds now what do they give discounts yes university of boating give discounts based on your um class of degree right and this is um if you finish with first class you would be giving it up um, a discount of three thousand pounds if you finish with two one discount of two thousand and if you finish with um second class lower it would be discount of one thousand pounds right so let's say um the school fees is twelve thousand five and um, four fifty and you finish with two two one right so your school fees will now be ten thousand four fifty right so what's the deposit required the deposit required is four thousand four hundred and fifty pounds right i understand that this might be on the high side but yes the deposit is four thousand four hundred and fifty pounds and pounds what i love the most about university of Bolton is their payment plan right so there is no concrete payment plan you just need to pay your school fees and i've had like i have a lot of friends going to this school they don't disturb them. They don't lock their portal. You know, the only thing is that if you don't pay by the time you finish school, you know, you will be given your certificate. And of course, they won't tell the home office that you're done with your studies. So that way you won't be able to get your post study work visa. However, they don't stop students. You know, they let them just pay as they, as they, as they wish. At least I know someone that came in in January. This is July. He has not made any other payments except from the deposit that, you know, he has made. So this is how flexible they are, they are with payment plan. And Bolton is also relatively cheap to live in. I have friends that live there, like I said, and then, you know, their rent is about £400, bills inclusive. So this is relatively cheap. And I think that people should explore this option, right? The number two on my list would be University of Lincoln, right? Um, Lincoln is... Um, you know another cheap city that rent is rid ridiculously affordable there right i have a friend that lives in um a two-bedroom flat in lincoln and all they pay is 750 pounds you can imagine so yes lincoln is a very nice and cheap um chill chill cheap place to live right how much is the school fees the school fees is 16 000 pounds i know you are wondering and this baby is telling us that it is cheap Yes, it is sixteen thousand pounds, but they give an automatic discount discount of five thousand pounds. This brings the school fees to eleven thousand, right? Every every international student gets an automatic discount of five thousand pounds. So this is this brings the fees to eleven thousand. Now, how much is their deposit? Their deposit is three thousand pounds. And another thing that I love about this university is the payment plan. It's very flexible. You pay as you like. They don't have a concrete payment plan. And according to what I have heard from my friends, are where they don't pursue you and all of that. Whatever you have, just keep paying. As far as you keep, you finish paying by the end of your studies. 
they are um, you know they are good with that right so that's second on my list university of lincoln now the third on my list is going to be university of bedfordshire our uh, university of bedfordshire is somewhere in um, luton and luton is a neighboring city to london is people that go to university of bedfordshire they can like live in london you know like it's very close to london which is a good thing because of the opportunities that are in london so you might be able to tap into that opportunity right so how much is the school fees and um, the school fees is thirteen thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds and there's an automatic discount of for international students of one thousand pounds right um so you get a discount of one thousand and the school fees is thirteen thirteen seven fifty so the total you're paying is twelve seven fifty right um also how much is that um deposit so now this this deposit is on the high side what you need to pay is sixty five percent upon enrollment right I understand that this is high but if you can this also if you think about it this also takes um you know it takes the um pressure of you wanting to pay school fees it takes it away from you now after the 65 percent what is the payment plan the payment plan is five equal installments right and then um, you don't start paying this um you don't you don't start paying your balance until after the fourth month so if you resume in january you your first balance is due um in april you know that's what it means so and you pay monthly for five months so you pay april may june july august basically the same amount for um for each month and this i think is actually very okay you know and then um, i also think that the school fees is affordable compared to what you have out there right so the next on my list is going to be university of derby right now university of derby is in a city called derby which is also an affordable city to live in um in the united kingdom and how much is their school fees right the school fees is for Fourteen thousand seven hundred pounds, and they give an automatic discount of two thousand pounds for international students. So this brings the school fees to twelve thousand seven hundred. The deposit is three thousand pounds, and then what is their payment plan? Um, the payment plan is two installments, right? So you need to pay fifty percent by enrollment. So that means if you have paid three thousand from your own country, you need to balance it up by the other half by the time you are enrolling for your course for your course here, and then the other fifty percent is due by um it's due in like in a few months after so they give you like a break so their whole installment is basically like two installments right so they give you a break and you can also pay and um, break the other 50 percent into two installments so there's an option for that as well so you pay it three three months interval so whichever is favorable for you you know is is you you can go with that right so um the number four on my list is university of derby now the next one on my list is going to be university of east london i know i am mentioning london and london kind of have like bad publicity don't come to london it's expensive yes it is expensive but i've seen people living in shared accommodation of like 500 pounds but you know the cost of living in london is 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 high compared to other cities let's not lie but i saw this university and, I, and i'm like if you can tap into the opportunities in this london and you pay the school fees i don't think there's anything wrong with that right so how much is your school fees the school fees is thirteen thousand five hundred, and you get um, an automatic discount of one ranging between one thousand pounds or three thousand pounds and this is based on the discretion of the university right so they would they will look at your application they'll think oh Let's give this person either one thousand, two thousand, or three thousand pounds. Now, what is how much is their deposit? You are required to pay um fifty percent. Um, so after you pay um yes, the deposit is like fifty percent upon enrollment, right? So I think you can pay. This is what I did not get. It wasn't that clear, but what you need to do is by enrollment, right? Um, twenty one days after your start date, you are entitled to paying. You are entitled to pay fifty percent, right? And then the other fifty percent can be um can be splitted into um uh, the other fifty percent rather can be paid six months after, right? So if you come in January, then the next fifty percent is going to be due in June. Do you understand? If you come in September, the next fifty percent is going to be due six months after, which I think is really a good opportunity to you know it gives you time to you know make that other 50 percent right so that's number six um number six on my list um no i think that's number five right so the next one on my list is going to be um liverpool hope university and um, why is this university this university is in liverpool right and um how much is their school fees the school fees is twelve thousand five hundred pounds and then they give a discount of one thousand so if the school fees is twelve thousand five hundred you get a discount of one thousand pounds and what you now 
you're entitled to pay is 11,500. How much is their um, deposit? The deposit is 3,000 pounds, which is really affordable, yeah? And then, what? but after you pay 53,000, um, you need to pay 50% by registration and the under 50% by the end of, um, you know, three months after you resume. I think this payment plan is a bit rigid, but, you know, the school fees is, the school fees is not as much. So I think that this is another school that people can people can explore so that's the next uh, um the number six on my list is going to be liverpool hope university so the next on my list is going to be robert gordon university and this university is in aberdeen is in scotland right um so how much is their fees what i notice is that their fees it ranges from you know from it, it depends on the cost but i think it starts from fifteen thousand pounds Another thing that I know that people really talk about like the discount they get from this school. So I think the discount is embedded in the offer when you get it. I'm quite sure that they get a lot of discounts, but you know, it was not really stated on the site. So I couldn't lay my hands on that, right? So how much do they need to um, pay? So you need to, they need to, um, your deposits has to be 50% upon enrollment, right? So that is a bit high as well, but the other 50%, can be split into two or three equal payments, right? So if you pay the 50% upon enrollment, by the time you resume, you can either choose the payment plan of two two equal payments for the um for the other 50 percent or three equal payments and it's spread across i think in three three months right so this is also a good payment plan right and then the last on my list is going to be the Montfort university and this can be um this university is in the city of leicester which is another city that is you know affordable to live in and all of that right so how much is the school fees um the school fees is fifteen thousand one hundred, and then international students they get an automatic discount of one thousand five hundred right so if you take that out of the school so i think it leaves you with about 13600 if i'm correct yes so how much is the deposit this school too you also need to pay a deposit of 50 percent which is a bit high but the good thing is that you know it's easy to pay cheap deposits but at the end of the day it, it still leaves you with a lot of liability but when you pay huge deposits it makes it, it really it releases the pressure off you do you understand so i understand that it might be difficult but then if you do it it's to your own benefit in the long run right so um the deposit is 50 percent and then the other 50 percent can be split either into three installments or several installments right the seven installments you pay it every month and then the three installments you paid i think two months interval right so the payment plan is something very is is is, is sweet if i if i'm being you know to me i think it's sweet right because you can choose to pay several installments and you don't start paying until three months after you know so you just you just split the 50 percent into equal payment for seven months which is not bad right that's releasing pressure on you so these are the schools that i think that international students should explore because they are cheap you know compared to what you have out there the deposits are making sense the payment plan and you know they are okay and all of that and especially the ones that i mentioned earlier they don't put pressure on you regarding you paying school fees and all of that it's not like i'm promoting bad um bad um practices but you know things happen and all of that and we we don't want the situation whereby they will go and report you to the home office and all of that so i think these are the schools there are plenty more schools that i did not mention i just wanted to mention a few rights and then um, you guys can know how to make your search better and all of that and then um, i'll see you guys in the next video bye Thank you.